So as I said, uh, my name is Jefferson Cornelius, and uh, I'm with uh, Cognizant Technology. So my kind of profile starts with uh, you know being an interaction designer first, and slowly getting into business development now into digital strategy. And uh, so I thought uh, you know for this particular uh, uh, occasion, though I, I thought I'll quickly talk about design thinking in uh, producing digital strategy. Both are two big buzzwords right now: the design thinking and digital strategy. I thought like you know. Uh, it'll be nice to hear from my experience as well as uh, what I kind of see in the, in the, in the enterprises. So um, basically, uh, right? So it's, it's interesting, right? I mean, uh, the buzzword is dis uh, digital. And then uh, earlier, when what, what was digital was you know just that digital watch my dad used to buy. And then it had this LED displays. But now digital is something completely different. And I'm going to talk a little bit away from the design into more business consulting and uh, more into the strategy part, right? And that's where I, I, I see that you know, the appreciation of design thinking in producing strategy will stand good. So that is where, right? So when we talk about digital and then we talk about design, we have, we have heard speakers speak about uh, you know, experience design, how uh, you know, things are so useful in you know, building up the strategies for the enterprises. But what is digital strategy, right? And how, what are the components of it? And how can really design thinking help it, right? That's, I'm going to quickly touch upon that, right? Uh, so digital strategy is basically, for me, um, nowadays, the, you know, I, I, I met a colleague, and he was thinking, like, hey, everybody's talking about digital strategy and digital. So what exactly that is? And whatever is not mainframes is now turning out to be digital. So you're talking about enterprise applications. You're talking about web applications. You're talking about mobile, everything com in, com in, com in combination. You have digital, and then how do you really produce the digital strategy? Now clients come in and ask you, what is my, what is the strategy that you're going to give me, right? So it's, it's, but if you see, you know, experience design has a large portion in the digital strategy part, right? And obviously your business goals and objectives, right? And how are you really going to lay out your, uh, you know, roadmap to, 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 uh, to you know, produce that particular uh, the strategy? You know, or the application that you're talking about, or the group of application, or the ecosystem that you're going to develop, and how are you really going to communicate, right? The communication strategy, right? And the channels, what the different kind of channels? Web was one, now mobile. It could be social, it could be something else tomorrow. So are you really going to incorporate that into your strategy? And your products, existing products, your apps, and, and right in the center is there your, uh, your innovations. And then everything is enabled by your technology. So in a way, it's not just your experience design. Experience design is a major part, but we do really have to think about the, all the other factors that form the digital strategy, right? So it's, it's very interesting that, I mean, uh, whatever I put on the, it, it doesn't mean any size of it or scale of it, but it's just there, right? So it's interesting that uh, everybody are talking about digital strategy and, not, and want to get the best out of, uh, of every, every guys. But one big problem that I see is, um, Convergence. Now I have these different groups, different streams coming in. Say like analytics groups are coming in, right? I mean, in your companies you would have seen, right? Analytics. You have marketing is one team, uh, design another team, and uh, you have uh, technologists coming in and say like this won't work, and the business consultants coming in and say like this wouldn't work. Now this particular digital consultant or the guy who actually drives it, you know, he has to bring the convergence, right? He has to bring everybody together and say, like, okay, this is the proper strategy that a client needs to do, or, or go about and, and do an implementation roadmap for it. And he doesn't have a lot of time. In, in a typical digital strategy engagement, what really happens is it's mostly four to six weeks, a maximum 10 weeks. Within that, he has to bring a lot of people together, you know, make a mindful decisions, and so that he, he, he or she you know, does the right thing and then do not uh, you know, fail in that particular short time, right? So it's, 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 it's a, a convergence becomes a big problem now. Maybe not in the future, but right now. So that is where, uh, you know, uh, we found, or like, uh, interestingly, uh, uh, you know, the design thinking really, really helps. As designers, I don't have to really talk to you about the design thinking aspect of it, but these are some of the key questions that have been asked in terms of the digital strategy, right? Now, uh, what are we trying to achieve, right? Financials, it could be financials. You know, who are we serving? Customers, users, or if, you, if you're talking about a, a digital India or like that kind of a country or a, 
you know, city specific citizens that are central, right? How do we do it? You know, channels, the marketings. And, uh, you know, are we really going to achieve something? That is the ROI factor that we are talking about, right? How are we going to enable it? That's the technology. Why are we doing it? Maybe it's competition, right? And how are we going to do it? Do the diagnostics first. So these are the, some of the, you know, questions, are very active questions that you really ask when you do the digital strategy part of it. And everything, if you see, it's kind of related to your design kind of thinking, right? So that is where, when we talk about really convergence in terms of digital strategy, uh, the design thinking concepts really come alive when you produce a, digi a I mean, digital strategy. Basically, uh, try applying you know, a lot of um, these, these factors into your, uh, you know, uh, all, all the techniques into your, the way you produce digital strategy, you will be amazed to find the kind of results that you get, right? Predominantly, I've just put these four key elements in terms of design thinking, right? Empathy, creativity, rationality, and business. And most of you guys know what it is. Empathy, creativity, rationality, business is not exactly in that order. Certain clients might need, you know, a variable, you know, in, 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 in a creativity could be more, you know, business could be more, you know, and then empathy could be more. So it, it totally depends. But then if you can play around with these four factors, and then you can really get a good convergence, and then the resultant is a good digital strategy. So basically, uh, interestingly, a lot of companies that right now, you know, are looking at is, you know, they want innovations, right? I mean, they want innovations right away. And digital strategy, when you produce it, they say like, okay, fine, how are we going to do it differently? So interestingly, if you see, right in the middle is innovation about your, uh, the chart there, like viability, desirability, and feasibility. So if you combine all these together and then get a really good digital strategy, you can really point out into the right innovation. That's, that's, that's been the experience, and I think that will be most of your experience as well. So if you see, um, you know, what does the client really want these days? I mean, I mean, interestingly, they, are, they don't have much time. The competitions are growing really disruptive. You know, somebody is somewhere coming up with really great ideas. Now, one is trust demanding. You have a really short time, and, and then in, within that short time, you have to really give a really good strategy. Meaning, you know, uh, therefore, you have to establish the trust. And uh, this kind of certain, uh, certain techniques in the design thinking area, like your typical design uh, techniques that you do, like contextual inquiry or your persona development, scenario validation, your usability testing, and all those things really, or concept testing, this really help in building that particular trust. You know, okay, you are in connect with uh, the users. You are in connect with the business, right? And then uh, certain other clients are innovation demanding. They say, like, I need to really beat the competition, what I need, uh, I need to do. So that means you have to really come up with great ideas this is where the creativity goes up, and then you study the market so deeply, and therefore the clients trust you, and then you give the right strategy. So basically, if you see a lot of clients, you would have experienced trust demanding or your uh, uh, you know, innovation uh, demanding. So this is pretty interesting on that. Lines. So, you know, I, you know, it's what, it's all, all you guys know this, but interestingly, I was talking about the convergence, right? How do you really bring convergence if you're, uh, if you're talking about this strategy? Interestingly, my experience has been as well. If you bring the 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 the, the customer centricity or the user user centricity or this even citizen centricity, you know, you really you know get to the bottom of it. You know, whichever team that you are trying to lead. You know, it could be analytics team, it could be your uh, technology, cloud team, you know, big data team. You know, if you're trying to big, bring that focus into those teams and say, like, okay, let's together see what is actually the users want, you know? And uh, in that way, right, you, you try to, you know, emanate that kind of a feel to your team, and then they kind of, you know, sink in with you, and that helps in, you know, uh, quickly getting on them on board and then giving you a good uh, strategy. So this is, you know, if some of the things that you, you already know, right? Uh, the values, the usability part of it, the ecosystem part of it, the kind of collaboration or the community building, and uh, the scalability part. How do you really bring the progressive advantage? So basically, uh, yeah. So basically, if you see, um, you're talking about convergence, and you're talking about design thinking techniques, right? Building up. In, into this, you know, really short time, four to six weeks, you know, using that kind of uh, two, two 
major techniques at, that we saw as useful, and then we really actively use this, uh, the design thinking workshops, right? Very open-minded design thinking workshops where participatory design, and you have the designers, you have the clients, you have the product managers, and everybody together, and then you sort it out. You know, that really helps. Another thing is, still struggling, but then the outcome-based kind of models, right? The simulations that we are talking about, right? If you are developing a concept, what are you really uh, trying to say to the client in order to tell it, tell it to the market, right? So that kind of balancing act that you, you do, really, you know, uh, uh, the, the clients really embrace that. And then they have, we have a lot of uh, success stories in it. So, uh, so those two aspects are there. So quickly, you know, one of the case studies that we uh, did, and interestingly, you know, this is a, a warehouse management system, and this, this particular company was uh, located in one region, uh, North America, and uh, they had a problem like whether to buy a product or you know, develop a product, right? That was their key uh, things. And then, and it, it's not just your, uh, uh, a lot of systems were there, you know, mainframe systems were there, you know, um, a lot of other apps, mobile, everything were there, and they wanted to really create one particular platform kind of a thing. So what we, I mean, there was, a, uh, there was big issues and we, we kind of developed uh, a team, I mean, brought down a particular team, which has designers, uh, you know, strategists, you know, domain experts, you know, who really know the systems in and out. And then, you know, we kind of segregated that particular product with the client. So they, with, with the design thinking workshop, we sat with them and then tried to, you know, uh, you know build a particular model, uh, you know, the, that, that you see that, you know, traffic management and inventory management and those kind of things, right? And then uh, using, you know, rapid prototyping, we developed concepts to show them and the clients saying like, this is what it would look like. And then we also did, importantly, a financial management. For example, are you going to do, you know, only country specific? Are you going to go global? Which they really liked it. So that is kind of the models that we made and, uh, and that kind of attracted them and, to, and finally they said, let's build the model, L let's build the product. Right? So basically, if you see, if you see the, the kind of things that you do will really change the client's perspective, and therefore, uh, you know, it, it benefits the clients, you, and then it, it also, the, in the implementation becomes pretty easy. Right? So if you see, that is what I'm saying, right? I mean, the design thinking workshops, the rapid prototyping, the visits that we made to that uh, 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 particular place, uh, the diagnostics that we did, you know, the big data analysis, and user research, journey mapping becomes very important and finally the financial modeling. So, I mean, in conclusion, what I'm trying to say is, digital strategy, uh, it could be a buzzword, great. You know, what can designers really contribute to that is immense because the fundamentals could, of, of that thinking, you know, can be derived from design. So, you know, it, it's except that, you know, even when you develop the strategy that, that is, you know, financial, uh, uh, users, global in nature and other things, Certain design thinking techniques can be really used in bringing people together. That's what I call convergence. So that gives a lot of success, and then, and then you kind of really produce a good digital strategy. Thank you.